Bingo. Welcome back everyone. Joe here, Joe's Outdoor Experience. So clearly you're here, you're interested on a built hard 20 inch gas chainsaw. Now this is a 58 cc three horsepower chainsaw with a 20 inch bar, two cycle with an automatic oiler on this machine. So it's a price point on their website right now is about $159.99. They said, hey, would you like to do the review? I said, please. I like that little electric log splitter that they sent out a few months ago so much, and it works really well. It's it's done a heck of a job doing a bunch of custom uh, splitting that I've been doing in the garage since the weather's been pretty nasty. So I, I really am going to love that thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this thing unboxed. We're going to set it up. I have a, it's a dead standing tree. Uh, from here, it looks like it's probably about 10, 15 foot tall. We're gonna go into it, try to do a bore cut into it, and then cut it into 16 inch rounds and then move those rounds from there. Probably, if I can today, if I have some time, go ahead and split those rounds with that uh, with that splitter too. But uh, yeah, so guys, we're gonna get right into this one. Bingo. As you guys can see, here it is. Built hard, 20 inch chainsaw, TNA006. It is completely closed and sealed. I did not open it at all. Gonna go and cut this up. Well, cut the box up. If you guys can't hear me due to the wind, I'm sorry. I am looking into getting microphones. That uh, I would definitely like to get, or at least a microphone. So here it is inside of another box. Oh, I hope, oh nice. I hope it comes in one of them plastic crates. My other two chainsaws that I have, the, my other bigger ones, did not come in those things. Uh, I have a Ryobi that came in one. I actually have two Ryobis that came in. I actually love those cases. Here it is. It's a, uh, a new design, lightweight, well-balanced, Saw body that makes it easy to work with, effective cutting, 20 inch bar, effective anti-vibration system, reliable safety chain, brake, preventive accidents. It is strong, easy to start, lightweight, anti-vibe. And I believe this was me cutting that top of the box. This box was almost dead center with that box, so that uh, very well could have been me. Oh yeah, well obviously it was, because you guys can see right here, that's why I sliced it with the knife. This is like almost looks like it's completely oil. Oh, nice! It comes with a uh, four, okay. So this is a it's a forty to one ratio, perfect. And they already have the pre mixed little bottle. What you do, you fill it up to right there where it says petrol, or in the states gas, and uh, the rest of it is your oil. I say petrol. Throws people for a, a little bit of a loop, or alloy aluminium. So here's your little tool kit, very nice, The I think that's considered a scrunch. Here is our owner's manual. And I'm going to go ahead and see if it says how much it weighs, I did not see that on any of it. It does come with the steps. Step one, add proper amount of fuel mix ratio, 40 to one. Step two, add bar and chain oil. I have all this all set on here. Step three, engage the chain brake and start her up. Now it also comes with, oh, it already comes with one little guy right here, get you all set. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it exactly how they said if I didn't have any bar and chain oil and or any premix. I'm gonna go do this first tank with their premix. I'm gonna fill that bottle up how they have it with their premix right here, 40 to one. And they also supply you with your first bit of bar and chain oil. Very, very cool. That's, that's super nice of them. Here's the bar. Very nice. I like the black coating on here. It's a little tight. Oh, super tight. 
You got yourself one little dog on this side. I, I really do like this blue and black cut pattern on here a lot. Again, guys, this is not a, a sponsored video. I'm not getting paid on this. I'm not, none of that. It's, it's, they sent it out and they said, hey, do a full review. Let us know how you like it. And as of right now, I like it. I'm not sitting here trying to sell you on it. It's very, very nice. Ugh. Easy access to your spark plug, to your filter clip here. Very cool. Here's your choke, your primer. All right, let's get it fired up. Let's get it filled up and fired up. Two cycle synthetic engine oil, 40 to one. Oh, they really thought of everything. This little tap has a, the top has a little cut so you don't have to go and look at that. Bingo, baby. Add her into the fuel. Make sure you have the right cap before you go ahead and think you're going to go and shake that puppy together. <laughs> Let's put the wrong cap on. Give her a little shake. Get her nice and mobile. Put this cap on here. Bring you guys in so we can all see together. Let that thing do its thing. All right, here's your fuel tank right here. We're not gonna mess with that yet. We're gonna get the oil in first. I don't really wanna use a knife because I'm good at cutting things that aren't supposed to get cut. Bar oil goes in the front right here. Making a mess. Close it up. Might have been a little bit extra in there. That is my fault. Gonna ignore that. If you guys have some hand towels, just wipe it up if you want. I'm gonna let mine marinate. All right, fuel. Hopefully I do a better job with the fuel. Smells like there was fuel in it already, so I'm assuming they run them at the factory. Uh, hold on. I'm very good at spilling stuff where it doesn't belong. Okay. And then we're just gonna get it everywhere. I really didn't try to spill it, but uh, I did call it. Let's 
just got yourself a nice little shop towel here, AKA Kirkland Special from Costco. Now some of you are gonna say, well, why didn't you use a funnel? Guys, these hands are like hands of surgeons, steady. So I didn't, not even a drop of anything here. So uh, this is, I don't know what caused that, but it wasn't us. All right, so we're gonna do the first startup together. So in the back here, you see I didn't even start it yet. This primer bulb has no fuel in it right there. So we're gonna prime it up together. You see the fuel coming in. I was always told to do 20. There's an on off button right here. We're gonna click the on button. We're gonna pull the choke out. We're gonna make sure that the brake is set. Brake is set. Now we're gonna go ahead and try to fire her up. What was that, four pulls? So the choke is in. Set the brake again. That was super easy. Now uh, we're gonna go down there and start uh, start cutting. I did put my chaps on, guys. I'm not a professional. I'm not a professional logger. I'm not a professional chainsaw man. I'm not a I'm not a professional arborist. I do this on the side part of my YouTube channel. Um, I started about a year, year and a half ago, messing around with some chainsaws, learning. I mean, I, I played with chainsaws prior to that cutting stuff, but uh, never to where I'm actually trying to get very good at it. So um, I was taught by someone who always had protective gear on. I do have my helmet and my helmet, my screen and earmuffs over there. I will be putting those on. I tuck in my shirt into my uh, into the inside of my chaps here. I try to be as safe as could be. Um, so I hope you guys do too. Uh, I'm not trying to teach or tell anyone what to do, but just yeah, it's simple. This took 35 seconds to put on. So I'm gonna get packed up and go down there and see what we get started. All right guys, so this is the side that we don't normally go to ever. Uh, my parents' house rarely come over here here is the tree right here uh, i'm gonna give it a few taps here i hope i don't think there's any critters living in it Before we get this down totally, I know this tree's dead, but this machine seems to have a lot of power.
that's gonna be it guys this is the biltard tna 0006 that is a uh every part of probably 18 inches the bar is almost completely across i do have to tighten that chain a little bit it did loosen up wait for that plane to go over It did loosen up. That's normal. It is what it is. Uh, they all do that. I am very impressed with this machine. Go check them out. They sent it over as a, a full review. And to be honest with you, you're going to see a lot of this chainsaw clearing out these trees and brushes along that hillside within the next few weeks. That's what I'm going to be really be focusing on. I've been trying to get myself a, a wood chipper and or a PTO driven wood chipper. So if I can't, what I'm going to do is make piles and I'll just burn everything as I go. But here you go, guys. I don't know what kind of tree this is. It's very thick. Uh, it's a pretty good hardwood. Um, it's got some weird looking bark, very, very robust kind of bark, but this thing had no problem going through it. Uh, this is still the first tank of fuel that I'm on. Really impressed with this machine. And uh, I would like to go ahead and thank Built Hard for sending this over. If you would like to see the other review I did on their Built Hard electric log splitter, Click the link right here. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you back. Again, my name is Joe. I'm down here at my parents' six acre property. And if you guys do like this sort of thing, if you can hit that like button, it really, really helps me out, helps the channel out, helps grow the channel. So thank you guys so much, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.